fluidity and the flow of how they're able to just write together the rhythm that they are able to find i'm sure you know it i'm sure that you feel that rhythm in you that's i think that's what i saw yeah uh, with um with geo yeah and let's see if we're gonna see a replay of that or will flow g bring this game way closer than the than fantasma that wants it to be already Fantasma is going to be on the blue side for the first pick. Pretty similar bands that we saw uh, from the last game. Fantasma still might prioritize the Jawhead here, seeing as how it turned out very well for them. But Floji might contest and make sure that they won't go up against a Matilda and Jawhead this time. So it's a Matilda first pick. Floji might just contest the Jawhead here. Yeah. Um, additionally, additionally, Jawhead is like your... How do you say this? If you have the, if your opponent has the Matilda, you better make sure that there is something of the same pedigree that you can have. Right? It's like a trade-off. Like you need, if you are, if you are willing to give one hero for the first pick, you better make sure that your two picks will have a better trade-off. So, I think the joy just naturally falls into place for for uh, for your flow G. or maybe they might be yeah. choosing to go for something like Popol and Koopa, or Again, specialist heroes. Maybe Seika likes this. There you go. Chang'e as well as the Jawhead. Alright, Chang'e early on will be able to contest the... Help contest the objectives early with the Meteor Shower. So that might stop the Phantasmakalidad Snowball if they are going to try to replicate that. They are hovering over an Argus. I do kind of want to see that because I want an excuse to be able to use Argus once the Star Wars skins come out. Someone yes. please show us a way how to make that an absolute meta pick so I won't be afraid to pick up the Darth Vader. But Fantasma is still going for picks that went well for yeah. them. They are going to be rocking the Barretts and still the Claude on their side. Yeah. Interesting to say that Argus has been receiving some those small buffs, right? You saw that slowly going there. I think that they're really working yeah. on bringing back the Argus to the meta so that we'll all get to, you know, enjoy that skin. You know, <laughs> this is something that, that's funny that I will say, but developers, game developers, when they want to bring out like a cool skin, they, they're they making sure that the hero that they're giving the skin to will have like a little bit of some uh, various degree of buffs like some some buffs are yeah. small so, to, so that it's like outright big like you know what where, where they're heading into and so yeah don't be afraid raptor i'm pretty sure that both cyclops and argus will see the light when their skins come i i can bet my money <laughs> on that <laughs> yeah argus like always he's always getting adjusted for some reason and they're always trying to just yeah. find the perfect balance for him because i i see a lot of mythical glory players clips that you it'll make you think like wow how come they're not trying this in the pro scene because this guy is making it work really well or not just one multiple people will make it work and then some adjustments will come because in the MG non-pro scene it's a little bit too strong. So yeah, we'll we'll get there once Darth Vader and Yoda comes out. But let's get back into the draft here. They pick up the Hilda. I think this is Flo G's attempt to try and will they be trying to disrupt the jungle with this Hilda? That because it looks like the Hilda might be going into the into the XP in the turtle lane here. Mm. So it's not going to be the typical Hilda that we know uh, as the tank. Yeah, because so, you, it's it's kind of it, it will get weird, right? If let's say Jawhead plus the Hilda, Jawhead or Hilda alone, they are very strong when it comes to like invading, and I think that they're the heroes that I will see in the in the meta. No, no, but them together in one team, it's a it's a bit of a question mark to me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. See so how they're uh, literally the same. Yeah, literally the same. Uh, except for one pick. Uh, they're just going to yeah. be changing things up. They're still going to be rocking with like two tanks. So that is going to yeah. be both the high loss and the Barretts with the Concussive Blast. It seems like that's that's the main thing. It's like, okay, let's just give a lot of room for Ghost Record to be able to have a great game with the Claude while the rest of us, uh, as four, just go around and wreak havoc. Similar to how a team like Blacklist International plays, how Wise plays, actually. Yeah. 
Pretty much, yeah. You all of you draft around your your main player, and it, so it seems it's going to be the Claude. Interestingly, it's high loss, and like you said, the double tank setup. Now that that to me speaks wonders on how Floji decided to go for the wine one so easily. Like that, that makes a lot of sense, right? You go for the wine one. It's perfect versus the bats. Perfect versus the uh, high loss in the latter portions of the game. Question is, yeah. how will Flo G be able to make this one when work? Where is the farm coming from? How are they going to control the early stages of the game so that they will have real estate? <laughs> yeah. yeah, real estate. It might take a while a for them to yeah. farm up. Do you mean that like art real estate? Real. Yeah, like like you know what like you you, you throw up map, a lot right? of puns. <laughs> that that's true. That's true. This is it's your history of puns that every time you say something that it makes me oh. guess like is this a joke? What's happening? Is this literal? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a raptor just different shaped wolf from a broadcast and wolf from uh from from what you know of him. <laughs> That's two different okay, things. Um, two different uh two different humans. Things. <laughs> Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Loji <laughs> trying to disrupt the farm here right now of Ghost Wrecker. Sarah coming in here to help assist. Jamon, of course, uh, holding on there. Really just sticking beside the claw to make sure he'll be able to farm up well. Actually not going to be packing the Gust of Blast, rocking with tenacity. So he's going to have a little bit more chances to survive instead of the instead of dealing the damage. But actually what I'm worried for here is Floji is... How are they going to engage this considering that they're up against a lot of crowd control? The high loss yeah. stun lasts a pretty long time. You might get immobilized by the Alice. Might be a difficult team fight to execute here for Flow G. A very good point, actually. Especially now that I've seen Flow G, they don't have a purify. So chain stuns, yeah. they are coming. And high loss, it's not, it's not difficult. To land this time it won't take rocket science or whatsoever and that means that the follow-ups will be so easy for fantasma Calidad. i can't even imagine how they will just chain it stun with the high loss followed up with the circling eagle and then the the blood oath and close it up with the barrett's ultimate you don't you might even not need it just might use it just to like just the minus one flow g in a specific fight so that that is a definitely a big point that fantasma that can use against flow g yeah, right now Flo G are not allowing Fantasma Kalidad to have the great early game that they had. Look at that, the stun right away on the Bombay TV. Flo G though, are they going to help him out? Bit of a lot of a lot of damage dealt to the members of Flo G, but Fantasma Kalidad are going to be fighting it out. First blood is going to be going to them. That's going to be a kill for D Gaming. Jungkook holding on, trying to contest this turtle, but at this point it's going to be way too risky as Boss Mars was the one taken out. Jungkook eventually chased down. So after that, now it's Fantasma Kalidad again gonna be in the lead. See if Bombay can hold on here with this Hilda off camera bottom lane. Alice gets to take down Dansky TV. So just as Floji were having a much better start compared to game number one, just like that, Fantasma Kalidad has built up a relatively big lead here in the first three minutes of the game. Yeah. If you saw how okay we'll type this. Oh, they're gonna still yeah. go for it. Yeah, that's, that's so easy. He's gone. He's gone. Three minutes and an uh, inhibitor turret out top. Oh, sorry, uh, 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 outer turret. It also means a lot of gold in their hands because of the uh, outer turret energy shields. Then they were able to get like a big team fight around the turtle area. Then the turtle themselves and a bonus kill for Tangzi onto the bottom lane. A solo kill onto the wild one. I mean, that's not. That's not a a big lead. That's that's like a, an Everest kind of lead. <laughs> Mount Everest yeah. levels at this point, man. Ten yeah. K in that's three true. minutes. Oh my goodness, man! I felt like I just blinked. I saw a one one, and then I didn't. That was all of the Me too, man. Getting that poor one one. Oh man. Oh. That hurt. The bane oh, Floji, of, though, the bane of one one is right magic, here. man, and there's so much yeah. magic damage output just from the soul bloom and the guiding wind alone. And then, of course, Tengzi is already so 
massive at this point. Yeah, Meteor Shower is going to be committed, but look at that. Barely any damage being dealt by Seika. That's going to be more kills going to Phantasma Kaledad. They're going to be chasing Marps under tower with a glorious pathway. And it is a glorious mega kill there for Seira. 4 0 and 3. A hot start once again for the Phantasma Kaledad mid laner. And they are just. Man, they are completely in sync. Like, you can tell, it feels like they've been practicing for like a month together because how they're moving around the map. How they're playing and making sure when to use the exact skills. They're moving like a pro team right now. Man, it's it that is definitely true. I think that um the presence of both Tang and Geo allowed for this because of their experience. Um mm -hmm. Fantasma Kalidad. Before the five minute bar, they've already took down two turrets. That also meant two full outer turret energy shields. And onto the bottom lane, when I saw it, there's, there's probably just 5% of the outer turret energy shield left in the bottom lane. Add them up all together with the kills they have and the turtles that they were able to take and about to take now. It's 18,000 gold in 5 minutes and 30 seconds. That's probably the ma the biggest gold that I've ever seen in the span of 5 minutes. Uh, that's gonna be Jungkook's jaw head gobbled up. He's gonna be trying to get away. He uses the flicker to do just that. Boss Marvs is gonna get stunned out. The chain stunts over and over again. The control that Phantasma Kalidad has has been giving Flo G such a difficult time every fight that we've seen so far. And that's gonna be another turtle going to Phantasma as Dansky is just getting bullied also as well in the bottom lane versus this Alice. Oh man. It's just full control right now for Phantasma. Oh. Uh, they might have, they might be, uh, how to say this, they might have some deliverables left because it kind of feels like Phantasma that is really wanting to finish this off so quickly. A stun again to Boss Mars. Look at that Sarah from literally from out of nowhere. <laughs> I just see a Matilda fly in. Where I didn't even see her lock it in. Suddenly we just well, here I am. Lands it on Junko. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I believe you with that theory, but that's probably that their members might actually have some de deliverables they need to submit yeah. in like an hour. Which is why they're just yeah. playing at this with such speed. <laughs> yeah. Sarah may be talking about like, hey guys, I, I still have like hours to go to reach my quota this month. Well, it's, it's still the start of the month, but yeah, I mean, maybe that's the one thing that they needed to really focus on. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> even a TPs from Sarah. Recall spam, let's go. Oh man, the confidence right now by Phantasma. And yeah, everything, again, just like game number one, going really, really well for them here. Floji with their 1-1 one -one will have to do their absolute best to hold on to allow this 1-1 one -one to farm. Not even just 1-1, one -one, the Brody on Boss Marvs as well needs a little bit more time. But how much time can they buy as Junk is going to get caught out here? They were waiting for him in the jungle. Fantasma Kalidad, Mega Kill, another one. And okay, that's no turrets down yet on the side of Fantasma Kalidad. No kills by any member of Floji. Phantasma are on their way to making this an absolutely perfect game if Loji can't like, land the kill or break down a turret. Yeah. It's just 8 minutes in and I've seen 26,000. You know you know what's crazy about this, Reptor? We are seeing Reptor 0, 0, and 9. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's a it's a support clone, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just... <laughs> uh, everything that he's done has helped. And that's another kill. Yeah. Floji finally gets a kill. Gets one of the ten Z, oh. but they lost Bombay TV in the process. Junko trying to uh, throw back D, trying to get another kill here. Oh, Boss so... Mars going in. That's gonna be the blazing duet by Wrecker. That's one zero and ten for the Claude now. And Fantasma, yeah, we're close. We're almost there to seeing them take this win unless Floji uh, bring out something here or Phantasma Kalidad get a little bit too overconfident and overstep. Floji still has the capability of turning things around. But right now with how it's looking, if we had the little meter that we have, 
uh, in the MPL with yeah. uh, with a chance. Right now it's like ninety five percent fantastic. Yeah. For all the viewers out there, I think that in uh, in our local language usually pertains to quality. And I, I I also looked up Phantasma. It's not like it's not about being fantastic whatsoever. It's actually being like a ghost or a phantom. So this is like a, a ghost like quality to, to them. Maybe. Yeah. Or like the, the most the highest quality of ghosts, probably. Or specters. I don't know what kind of really ghosts. Right now. Yes. <laughs> There, uh, that I understand. High quality ghosts. That that's something that'll yeah. make me think after <laughs> after this game. But that's yeah. all that with the Lord, with a fantastic quality game execution that they have showed. They're on their way to winning oh. their series. A clean 2-0. Look at that. Denzi and what at the breaker. Everything. What a combination. That is a 2-0 win, and they end it in absolute style.